Welcome to Super Starcraft Bros. Diamond Friday. I'm Jay. I'm Iron Sparks. And we are on Newkirk Precinct with a ZVT for you on this lovely Diamond Friday. Indeed. Who's playing? In our bottom left corner, we have our red Terran fire pig. Oink, oink, sizzle. Um, <laughs> so he instantly turns into bacon. Cooked bacon. Or he's like a Pokemon. Yes. Remember that one generation? What was, what was was a, that? I don't know. I don't know if our Pokemon. Tor pig. Tor, tor pig. Flame oinkster. Um, and his opponent in the Flaming bottom right. bacon boy. Blue Zerg. Olma. 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 Or is it Amlo? Backwards. Remember the Alamo. Yes, absolutely. All right, so smaller map. We probably won't see as long of a game as we saw on Thursday. Hope not. Hope not. No, 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 indeed. Um, you know, uh, yeah, we've talked about it before. Okay, totally. I like long games are good if they're good. Yeah, if there are good back and forth, consistent attacks back and forth, they're good. But if it's not like sitting, sitting here and sitting. Sitting here for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, just maxing out both armies, and then you have an engagement, and they all go back and rebuild, and they have an engagement. Like, that's not back. In, I'm sorry, I'll stop drumming on your chair. <laughs> Alright, so we do have a scouting SUV to see what the Zerg opponent is going to do. It looks like Firepig is going to do the smarting and touch the tower first. Good job. But you know, it's, it's not, uh, not really something you have to worry about as against the Zerg. It. I mean, it's good to have it. I don't know, but still. Um, and it does look like that SCV is kind of taking a little longer route to get there. But he is going to see that there is an expansion by Ulma. And other than that, just droning. Pretty smart. Yeah, uh, Fire Ulma did elect to get the hatch prior to spawning pool. But uh, I think he'll be okay. No, he'll be fine. Probably going to throw it down right now. Okay. Yeah. All um, right. <laughs> And uh, Barracks just about to finish for Fire Pig. We have gas early on, so we're probably going to see factory play out of it. And, of course, Ordal Command is morphing in. Of course. And uh, back over here, we have a drone doing a bit of a wide scouting range to see if there's any cheesiness going on. And he sees there's none. Spawning pool's about halfway done. Yeah, it, I don't like cheese. I was playing a mono battle yesterday. Yeah. The cheesed in mono battles? Yeah. What's the point of playing mono battles if you cheese? Well, like, I don't know why, but, because you know how the, the map, there's the two sides? Yeah. And, like, say you're, you're spawning here, and there's that little bit of darkness right here? Yeah. They, they did proxy barracks. Did they? Yeah. Reapers come out of them? Marines. Oh, okay. I don't understand. If you're going to play, like, mono battles, why you would cheese? You know, you know, like, I understand cheesing if you have, like, a bunch of late game units, because, yeah. you know... I mean, yeah, I mean, I've played Mono Battles before, and it's like, High Templar, and you're like, God damn it, I'll build cannons <laughs> everywhere, don't worry, guys. I mean, like, I know one map, one game, it was like, it was a Carrier, BC, Ultra, and... Zergling. And, uh... There's always one small Tier 1 unit. No. Colossus? I don't remember what the last one was. But, like, we had, like, no, we lost, I don't know. Well, yeah, I've, no I've only won yourself. one, I've only won one Mono Battle since Heart of the Swarm came out. Yeah, it's... Mono battle, I mean, you really got to play with, you know, three of your friends. And then you kind of have to, like, all choose your own units for it to be effective. But, you know, playing, you ran playing random is fun. I mean, I always, I always do blind random. It looks like we now are going to get that factory switching over to the reactor. We're going to see those Hellions getting out pretty quick. Definitely. I don't think he's going to double pump Widow Mines at this stage. I definitely think we're going to see Hellions. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't have a lot of gas, and you need gas. So why... Go for something that needs gas when you don't have gas. He has gas. But he doesn't have a lot of gas. He's got a lot of gas. He didn't have that burrito. Burritos are good. Um, you know what I had for lunch the other day? Burritos? Yeah, yeah I had a steak and egg burrito. I don't know a steak and egg burrito. Homemade. Homemade? Yeah. You had steak and egg burrito. Why didn't I get invited over to eat steak and egg Cause burrito? Because you were busy with something. All right, so now we do have these Hellions coming out. Another two out. Um, think he's gonna go after eight. Um, how many's he got queued up right now? Two. I don't know. I mean, the Queeds are out, so it's gonna take a little bit of micro from Fire Pick to make them fully effective. But uh, other than Queens, that's really the only defending unit at the bases. I mean, he can get the Zerglings, but we all know how Zerglings do against Fire. Uh, yeah. Unless you're a pro player, and then you beat. Hellions purely with Zerglings. Yeah, that's always cool. I mean, if you get a good surround on Hellions, 
especially when they're trying to retreat, you can do a lot of damage to them. Because they do take a little bit of time to set up and then spit out the fire. Uh, so this will be an interesting move. Uh, looks like uh, Overlord Speed is on the way. Now, and Holy is, Queen Conference! Yeah, they're all up here. He he had to have expected to be coming. Um, Did he see them from some of these Overlords hanging out on this? I don't know if they drove that way. You know, I think he just had them there just in case. Because, you know, why wouldn't there be Hellions? Yeah, true, true. All right, so now we do have a tank that's coming out. And a few Widow Mines. More Hellions on the way, so he's really going for that very tech-based build. Yeah, um, he did build those Widow Mines immediately after the Hellions moved out. Uh, we'll probably get a repair on those Hellions, maybe, just to get them back to fighting fighting stats. Uh, and a third on the way for Oma. Uh, what do you think of this little mech squad? You know, I think it might be able to do All the Hellions bit. just kissing and worshipping <laughs> that tank right there. Um, we love you, tank! We <laughs> love you! Mwah, 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 mwah. We worship the ground you roll on! It's kind of funny. Um, Wait for me! I want to worship the tank too! <laughs> you know, I think it might do a bit of damage because uh, you don't have to research Siege anymore. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think he's got these Hellions worshipping this one tank because uh, if he sieges it and the Hellions go in the front, you can't get a surround on the tanks. Then you make sure the Hellions aren't getting too far ahead of the army. Yeah, true, because they are fast little buggers. Mm -hmm. And uh, these wouldn't mind worshipping this tank right here. Not as great of entourage, but you know, still, still okay. No, that queen's like, oh, I got, oh, no, no, I'm leaving. It's got that orange cloud of nutrients spit on her, and that queen, sur queen survives. Uh, tank sieging up now, gonna get a lot of damage. So these, uh, these heli is a little bit more gutsy now. You know, if he can sneak one of these widow mines into this mineral line, that'd be awesome. Uh, let's see, widow mines deciding to burrow behind the Hellions. You uh, know, there are some roaches out which do well against the, the, very the, well. the Hellions, but they really have to get in close to really defeat these tanks. Yeah. Uh, the tanks are repositioning themselves, so the siege bombardment has paused. A lot of Hellions have gone down from the roaches and the queens. Uh, these little mines are still down there, shooting their little missiles off here and there. Uh, they're about halfway done with their reload time, so that was a decent attack. And Firepick has essentially set up a very soft contain outside of Ulma's natural. Yeah, I mean, these queens should be able to go down. A couple of trench uses will go off to prolong their life just a little bit longer. But now these Widow Mines are now recharged, going to hit, take out one of those roaches. The rest of them should fall if they dare come close. And you'll notice the Widow Mines don't do a ton of damage to the roaches. But well, that's because they don't have shields. With that consistent um, bombardment from the Siege Tank, so they are easily going down. And uh, the roaches never had a chance. Well, you know... The more the more they stand on top of these widow mines, the more likely the widow mines are gonna die. Uh, true, because they do get a bit of the splash damage mm -hmm. from them. Uh, bombardment happening now on the extractor and the harvesting uh, drones. That one does go down after delivering a little goop of vespine. Um, I I don't know. I, I don't see any way that Omo could really get out of this. It looks like he's going desperation. He has pulled the drones to do some attacking. You know, if he can take out at least these tanks, but the unfortunate thing, drones are another unit that don't do well against Hellions. No, I mean, especially when the drones line themselves up to fit in perfectly with the flame. You know, one of the Widow Mines does inevitably fall. Um, this one, very close to death. And, uh, ooh, we do have some good, decent streams of roaches now. Able to push their way down the ramp. There are two more tanks on the way. Hellion's not great against the Roaches, so they're going to need to run back to these sieging tanks. But you know what I would like to see once this uh, armory finishes up? Uh, upgrades? Uh, Wars? Transformation, oh, transformation servos. Because, yes. you know, Hellions might not do good against Roaches, but... but the, the Hellbats. But Hellbats do. Yeah. I forgot what they were called. That's because they've changed the name so yeah. many times. You know, Overseer is finally going to be out, so he's going to be able to pick off this last remaining remnants of the Widowmine squad. But, will there be time, actually? It's almost reloaded now. Yes. Overseer, oh! Gets it right before it's finished reloading. Um, this will uh, will be interesting. The Roach count is going to get higher and higher now. Um, I, I'm kind of leaning toward Oma on a really good defend. I think Oma might have the upper hand right now. Yeah, the thing with Oma, he's been mining off three bases his entire time. Yes, that third uh, has been established with no notice from Fire Pig. Yeah, Fire Pig finally... <laughs> the thing does like... The tank ran to the back and it puffed up from his back. <laughs> um, Fire Pig just setting up his second expansion, getting a starport out, but uh, 
You know, look at that. Look at that overlord go. Yeah, I mean, it does have the speed upgrades. So you can be able to see anything and nothing can hit it. Exactly, except, except for, for that, that one, one marine. marine. Get on that man. That's your job. Take out that overlord. Lazy bum. Oh, I see. I had to fly near you. I, yeah. I see. How yeah, you can walk over to it. All right, we do have uh, ventral sacks coming. We got a drop coming. We you know drop these roaches behind the main line where all the tanks are sieged up and bang. Or or just drop it all in the tanks. Oh, you could do that too. Get that splash damage going. I mean, siege tanks get all confused when you drop on top of them. This is uh, this can be an interesting move. Uh, drones are getting rebuilt at Oma's base, so he should be just fine. Um, you know, I really think behind all this aggression, fire pigs should have been expanding behind it. It does seem a little bit late at this time. But you know what? Exodus of the SCVs. Yeah, a lot of them transferring over because a lot of the minerals are gone from the main. A lot of the minerals are gone. And uh, with that orbital command set up, he'll start catching back up in the economy. You know what? Once he gets like a round of mules going down. Yeah, if he can get a couple mules going on that expansion, he'll be okay. But with all these upgrades coming for the Zerg player, I don't know. Yeah, and we have, don't know. We have tunneling claws and burrow on the way, so he's really focusing on this roach play. Finally, do have that transformation servos going to be able to transform the hellions into hell bats. Uh, we do have again focusing on the roaches, burrows on the way, tunneling claws on the way. We have the attack, a range upgrade attack going for it. You know, and you know, roaches are the answer to this mech play from Fire Pig. Yeah, but... I'd say roaches and mutas would be beautiful right he now. He has to hit this prior to that upgrade yeah. finishing. Um, are, are the Hellbats going to be that devastating to the roaches? Well, yeah, they're going to tank a lot more. Oh, we do have a, uh, a little morphed in... Uh, what are they called? Little spy units for the overseers? Uh, Morphling? Called? Yeah, we have a little morphling running around Changeling. down that Changeling. Wait, you know, and, uh, here comes holy the drops. drop. Nothing can hit these overlords as well. Roach is dropping right on top of the tanks. It's a beautiful sight. Yeah. Rain and roaches. So the tanks are going to fall. It's kind of like a form of hail. Hellions are going to fall just as well. Um, this is a lot of damage done right there. And uh, 34 to 128 on the supply count now. Oma, you have essentially won as long as you don't screw anything up. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot back here. Because that, uh, that was his entire army. You know? Yeah, I don't think there's SCVs back there. Yeah, mech, mech is expensive. It's like you you're, don't say. It's like you're playing as Protoss, yeah, but yeah, you're yeah. Terran. Yeah, you know, we like when you, uh, you're playing like a Protoss. Yeah. All right, well, the Roaches uh, took a little nappy poo in the ground, and they're all healed up now. Overseer's like, I'm watching you. I'm a changeling. I'm watching you. I'm a changeling. <laughs> what was it was like to be a changeling. It's like father and son. Aww. I made you. I know. He's like taking him out for a walk. <laughs> That's creepy. All right, so we have an expansion no, going on this way. This crap. is creepy. <laughs> That's bad. That was just bad. That was this bad. is creepy. That's that's bad. No, that was creepy. I mean, the Lord's pooping. That. How, where does he get all the like? What do you, what do you where think? Does he get what do you the, think fills this? Uh, helium. He, we've talked about this. No, he uses gas to propel himself. All right, so we have the grand drop army of roaches heading in. I feel like we should have like uh, music playing or something. We can't play any music. Though. I know, Copyright. but like in your head, play music. Yeah, right now. play dramatic music right now, guys. We'll 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 be quiet for a second. All right, back to the action. Roaches are gonna drop. What music did you think of? Uh, the the, the Valkyrie song. You know what I kind of, of the Valkyries. You know the song in uh. Uh, Phantom Menace, when uh, Clark One and Obi Wan are fighting. Uh, Ooh, we got a stream Darth drop Maul. coming. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, fully upgraded roaches with all their special abilities have been dropped. Tanks gone down. There are a couple tanks on the high ground here. They're going to do a decent amount of damage. They are. Uh, no, never mind. They're just they're just going to put up a fight before they die. Yeah. And I mean, um, now the Overlord just says, "Hey, come on, Vikings." Vikings have been dragged off course by the overlords, and uh, it looks like these roaches are easily going to be able to clean up the space. Uh, nothing much on the way. You know, even if he does get units out, it's two versus this. Yeah, I mean, all they can really do is tunnel as well. I mean, you know, he might have some scans left. And there's the GG fire pig realizes he's in a, he's, he's in a cooker. He's in a pickle. Okay. <laughs> all right, GG goes to Alma. Fire Pig does lead like a gentleman, and the Zerg player takes the win. So leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. 
We'd uh, love if you'd subscribe. We really would. Indeed. And send us your replays at superstarcraftbros at gmail.com. You send it. We'll cast it as long as there's no BM. And uh, that's, uh, that's it for the week. Yeah. Good luck. Have fun. GG.